and happy Sun in Virgo transit. The Sun is now in Virgo until the 22nd of September and as it's my favourite transit of the year, it's the transit of my birthday, it's the transit that contains International Peace Day, it's the transit that contains the birthdays of the two most important people in my life and um, it's a really special time of the year. Also, Virgo is the sign of planetary service and healing, so it feels like a great time to be giving something. So, I am offering until the end of September uh, the opportunity for you to have an hour reading with me. That's a 60-minute reading for the price of a 30-minute reading. So, if you book a 30-minute reading, I'm going to offer these two choices. Either you can have a 60-minute reading or you can have a 30 minute reading followed by a 30 minute sort of mini tuition mentoring session. So either way you get to have 60 minutes of guidance, intuitive guidance, um, or intuitive guidance and teaching and possibly a bit of healing as well. So go and have a look at the blog by clicking on the link below this video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to speak to you soon. Happy September, happy Sun in Virgo transit, happy peace day and um, yeah once again happy birthday Virgos. All right enjoy. Okay so angel hug for Friday. So this is going to be for the whole weekend so Friday the 31st uh, Sunday, Saturday the 1st, yay September, and Sunday the 2nd of September. So happy weekend everybody, happy Friday. Let's just have a quick look, Let's shuffle the cards and see what we get for today first of all. Da -da -da -da. This one I'm feeling, Angel Therapy Friday. See I like it when you get a healing card coming up on a Friday because it's really nice to, to do any kind of processing or you know if you're working full-time Monday to Friday it's great to start thinking about your healing over the weekend because it means that you're going to have time to process it and um, th because sometimes after you know releasing stuff or um, going through changes and shifts we're doing a lot of emotional clearing energetic clearing raising of our frequency and all of that sort of thing learning new learnings new ideas coming in so that's a lot of shifting and it's a lot to process and to integrate so I love it that we've got angel therapy on a Friday because it means that when you do speak to the angels and you do uh, ask them to help you to release things then you've got Saturday to kind of really process that a bit more maybe rest a little bit or rest a bit on Sunday and then you can go back and face the week again um, so the card says, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. And this is something that we forget. We always forget. You know, even those of us who talk to angels a lot, who channel um, the angels, who write with the angels, who speak to the angels, who feel the angels around, who teach others how to feel the angels and connect with them and speak to them and have a dialogue with them and channel with them can forget that for every single thing that you that happens throughout your day you can ask the angels to help you with it and this is something that I've been increasingly aware of just recently because I've had the most astounding things happen from asking for help with things that seem quite trivial to me but I've just thought well you know they they mean they matter to me because if this thing gets cleared up it means that I'm going to be able to focus on my work more and the week will flow much better and I won't be frustrated because I don't have enough time because this is encroaching on my time or that's encroaching I'm going to be able to focus and that makes me feel good because I can give more I can do more um, and that keeps me present as well because you know if I'm not um, doing what I'm I came here to do I'm thinking about how I could be doing that if that makes sense so staying present working for me is a really nice way of staying present it doesn't feel like work it's a joy and um, and so what that's one of the main things that I tend to be asking for at the moment just can you please sort this out or help me to resolve that so that I can get back to doing what I know I'm supposed to be doing and those things work like miracles and other small things have worked like miracles as well um, that have made really nice joyous things come into my life and um, we just have to remember that we just have to remember have to remember that we're not kind of journeying through each day, each week, each month, 
completely alone and that we don't only ask for help when things are really crumbling and dramatic and you know we need to ask for some kind of intercession we can ask for help with the little things as well so have a great day on friday giving up your cares to the angels and asking them to help you to to resolve that babysitting situation or asking them to help you to find a way to um have the whole of Saturday to yourself so that you can process or asking them to um, bring more love into your life so that you can actually spend your healing time with people who are really mellow. Ask them for anything. Be specific about what you want and just ask them and you'll be surprised. Saturday, creative writing is back again. So if you started to do your journaling or to write things down during the week, um, don't remember what day that was, but I know it, it has come up before. Um, continue with that especially if you are going to do any healing work over the weekend creative writing is going to help and if you have got a book in you um, try not to see it as something that you need to be going off for two weeks uh, to, to work on you know in a cottage in the outer Hebrides maybe do a little bit this weekend remember that if you do um, a few hours if you do five hours every weekend that's, you know, in 10 weeks you'll have done 50 hours of writing. And I don't know what what speed you write at, but, you know, that could be a lot of pages. Okay, <laughs> so just um, enjoy that. And uh, that's the Saturday space. So whether that's journaling or doing something much more structured. Um, right, Sunday, career transition. So this is going to be a time, it's interesting that that comes up the day before Monday when a lot of people start thinking, either yay back to work tomorrow or oh god back to that so Sunday's going to be a good day to start thinking all right I've had a little bit of time and space and hopefully you know if you've listened to those cards and you've done a little bit of healing work and you've done some journaling over the weekend maybe you're in a good space now to start thinking well okay what is it that I really would like to do what how am I going to start to make this transition and it's a nice idea to just keep the whole weekend then, if you think you're moving towards having this sort of perspective on Sunday, keep the whole weekend free towards, um, you know, and gear it towards really, really searching your heart and figuring out what your next move is going to be, what you might need to do, whether it's studying, whether it's updating your CV and looking in different areas at different possibilities, or having a complete life change and, um, you know, going travelling or something. So career transition is a really, really interesting thing to focus on on Sunday and then maybe you'll go back into work on Monday with an, a brighter perspective because you'll feel okay there is something nicer to look forward to this isn't who I am this isn't the whole picture this isn't actually my life this is a part of the apparent current reality of my life and I know what I'm moving towards now so I can I can get through another week or so. I know this isn't everyone's reality. Some people will be having a ball. If you are having a ball with your career, think about how you can add to that, how you can keep progressing, keep the momentum going, add something new and interesting and sparkly that's going to make it even more fun and that's going to bring in more um, happy energy and um, allow you to touch more people in that happy, bright and beautiful way. Okay, everyone, have a great weekend. I'll see you again on Monday. Bye.